the final 10 days of Jupiter's transit in the sign of Aries is remaining. And on 1st of May, Jupiter will enter the sign of Taurus. And I've already made the video. If you have not watched it, please watch it. You'll find it in my channel. It has got around 70, 80,000 views. So I'm sure you won't have difficulty finding it. And Jupiter is also currently... <clears throat> Uh, transiting uh, in Kritika Nakshatra. That video is also there. So if you have not watched it, please watch that also. All right. And on 13th of June, he will enter Rohini Nakshatra and that video I'll be making very soon. But today's topic is a very interesting one. We always discuss now this transit is going to happen, you know, or this transit has just happened. You know, what will happen in our life? What will be the results? Kya hoga? Kya hoga? <laughs> But we do forget that sometimes we should also discuss when a transit is about to end. Okay, now it's bizarre. Like three sixty, uh, three uh, fifty-five days almost are over of this transit, and the last ten days are remaining. Why should we discuss this? You know, what oh, what do I get by discussing this? Well, because when a big transit is about to end, then you need to understand that things come into completion. Because the new transit is going to start. So if you if you if you don't understand that things are completing now, then it can happen that the new transit happens, which is Jupiter's transit in Taurus on 1st of May, and you are completely clueless of how you should use that period in your life. Okay. So therefore, if you want to understand how to use the Jupiter's transit in Taurus, then it is very important that we also discuss how this how to understand the last 10 days, okay? And this uh, need not apply to just 10 days. This can apply to the last, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 days. But at the end, it is the end of the zodiac sign of Aries. Very interesting because Aries is the first sign. And we know Aries starts with Ashwini Nakshatra and then there is Bharni Nakshatra, then there is Kritika Nakshatra, then there is Rohini Nakshatra. Right, so Jupiter currently is still in Kritika first pada inside of Aries. Now, what does this mean? This means this is a very interesting thing. You see, you you have to understand if you want to understand a particular nakshatra, or first if you understand want to understand a zodiac, you have to start by the initial nakshatras. So for here, uh, you we have you know uh, Aries. Uh, the first nakshatra that is there is of course Ashwini. What is Ashwini? We discussed yesterday when it comes to uh, the transit of Venus. You know, so Ashwini is the nakshatra where things start. So the moment when Jupiter had entered Ashwini last year, which is when exactly it entered Aries, you might have felt that you know certain new things are beginning in your life. Uh, and certain things are starting which you uh, might have expected or maybe you might not have expected. Okay. But then when Jupiter entered Bharani, uh, around 20, 21st of June last year, I guess, that is the time you might have felt, you know, that, oh, certainly the things are not as easy as it seemed, you know. Maybe certain things ended or maybe certain things uh, turned out to be way different from what you expected. And then, of course, Jupiter went retrograde again and then direct again and finally... I think mid of April around uh, Jupiter uh, entered uh, Kritika Nakshatra. I think it was 17th, if I'm correct. Okay, 16, 17 around that time of April this year, it entered Kritika Nakshatra. So, what is Kritika? So, see, Ashwini shows, you know, new things are beginning. Okay, but for new things to start, old things have to end. So, sometimes in life, we realize that we... We have to end things only after starting something new. <laughs> this is very interesting because ideally we should end things and then start. But sometimes we we start off and then we realize <laughs> we are still not there. We are still abhi bhi bahut piche hai. So Ashwini shows opening things externally, kicking off things, you know, starting off things. But Bharani shows your attachments, you know, attachments. Ah, I'm still attached. 
So what happens when you have to leave something and start something new, you know, your old attachments, they die hard, right? The mind is very difficult to control as Arjuna says in the Gita. No? It says, um, I can control the winds, but I cannot control the mind. Which shloka does he says this, right? The very famous shloka in the Gita. So therefore, many people, many times people think, okay, what, how weird is this, you know, like, Aries begins with Ashwini and then end, and then Bharani is in between. I mean, Bharani is the nakshatra of endings, right? How come is there a begin, ending just after the beginning? Well, it's not the ending of the thing which you started in Ashwini, but Bharani shows ending of things which you were doing before Ashwini, which you did not end psychologically. <laughs> okay. So, any planet in Bharani shows that you started off something but you did not let go of certain things. So, for example, if Venus is in Bharani, it could happen that, you know, you may get into a new relationship, but you always keep thinking of your ex, okay? So, that could be a problem. Well, uh, but this video was about Jupiter's transit in Aries, right? Uh, well, we, are, we, 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 we will discuss that, but for that, you need to understand what the nakshatras are. Okay, so now, in Bharani, when, see, Bharani is that daunting realization that, you're still not here. You're still somewhere else. That's very daunting. It's haunting, daunting, and it's mortifying. <laughs> That's why it's the nakshatra of Yamraj, because it's like you got a promotion and you got a job, and then after getting the job, you realize, I don't have the skills. Okay, Somehow I was selected in the interview because I, I was like super duper ultra fake. I pretended very well and then now the situation is I might be fired. Okay, so then what do you do? Now, firing or getting fired uh, or leaving that is not an option. So now you have to undergo purification. It's like burning, which is in Kritika Nakshatra. So now Jupiter is in Kritika. So now you might be feeling, you know, oh, I'm burning, you know. So burning, it's like, you know, gold burns, you know, then the purification starts. So therefore, if uh, this burning is happening, then you have to understand that it is very important that you realize why this is happening. This is for your good. This is for your purification. Okay, Agni Dev, Pitikas, purificatory rituals. So therefore, something similar might have been happening uh, when Jupiter is transiting in uh, Kritika hmm? or any planet other, but specifically we are talking of Jupiter here. And Jupiter will lord two houses in your chart as per your ascendant. So Sagittarius and Pisces will be lorded by Jupiter. So depending on your ascendant, wherever these two signs are falling, Jupiter is the lord of these two houses. And those houses can undergo a flavor, which means throughout the last one year, you might have felt you started something new, but then you realized the old thing has not ended yet and I have to end it. Because without that, starting something new makes no sense. And then when you decide to end, you're still not there because you're still somewhere else. <laughs> now you have to go through this purificatory process, okay? And therefore, this can be a very, very, very life daunting process. So whenever I see a planet is transiting in Aries or is going to transit in Aries, I'm very happy, but I'm also very sad at the same time because not sad in a pessimistic sense but it's because of Bharani Nakshatra which shows you have to end something okay but now what is the difference between Kritika Nakshatra first Pada and which falls in Aries and then second third fourth Pada which falls in the sign of Taurus you know it's, it's a bit different you can't just say Mm, yeah, you know, it's Kritika 1, 2, 3, 4, it's the same throughout. Okay, it's not like that. Kritika Nakshatra, first Pada is the Agni Pada, as you know. No? The second Pada is, I mean, Agni in the sense, you know, it's Dharma Pada, right? The first Pada is known as the Dharma Pada, then the second <clears throat> is, you know, Artha Pada, third is, you know, Kama Pada, and fourth is Moksha Pada. So, the first Pada of Kritika is in the sign of Aries. Okay, so that shows you have to stay, stay true to your dharma. Okay, dharma just does not mean religion. It means yourself. It means with your own ideals and your commitments and your belief and your duties. 
okay so which means you take the necessary steps that are required to have that necessary change so in ashwini you start in bharani you realize you need to end the previous thing and then in kritika you take steps to develop that and then when moon uh, when the second pada comes you see moon is exalted so moon gets exalted in the second pada of kritika nakshatra right now what is the second pada second pada is very interesting because it is the artha pada the artha shows stability so now it is like saying you started something new but then you had terrible suffering and then you went through purification and now you're you are finally seeing that manifesting externally in the background in reality so that is what makes the mind very happy that yes now things are manifesting and things are happening as per my expectations okay so therefore till the time jupiter does not enter second pada of taurus which is from 1st of may you might still feel you know for 15 days approx like you know from 16th to um, yeah so from 16 april to 1st of may so around 15 days uh, jupiter is in first pada of kritika as you know so because of that you may still feel oh i have let go of my past i have let I, I, I completely gave up the things that were necessary in Bharani and I started doing the things that are important. But why am I still not getting the success? You know, why am I not seeing the results? Okay, because the first Pada of Kritika tells you, oh, you, you, you are still not there. So you will start seeing the results from the second, second Pada, which is from Taurus 1st of May. So therefore... Uh, if Jupiter is, for example, you know, your 10th Lord, you might be doing so many things in your profession and you are not seeing the results now, which is very, which is very bizarre. I mean, Aries tells you, you know, that there are results very fast, but the results come. So what happens when a planet transits Aries, the results come, but then you realize, no, every, every version of life will de demand a different version from me. So people forget that. With Aries, there is growth, but then there is also responsibility. Okay, without responsibility, there is no growth. So therefore, Aries, the first Pada Kritika, which where Jupiter is currently now, you might be feeling that, oh yes, you know, it's high time. I have to make the changes and maybe you are making the changes, but you still have to drag on for 10 more days. And when you do this, you will realize at the end that yes, things are now fructifying and uh, I can actually feel that I'm getting the results, okay? So therefore, understand that this is a very beautiful time because you are working on the fundamentals, you are working on the basics, you are working on yourself. Okay? It is uh, Agni Pada, as I said, you know, it is like Dharma Pada, okay? The first Pada of Kritika. So a very, very, very difficult Pada indeed. Okay, it's not an easy one. Aries is a fire sign. Then Kritika is a fiery nakshatra. The first Pada. This, this in my opinion, is the most difficult uh, nakshatra Pada for any, 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 uh, for any planet, for any person, for any area of life. You know. So, for example, if you have any planet in the first Pada of Kritika then it's an incredibly difficult uh, situation sometimes, you know, if the planet is badly placed. Okay, because as I said, you know, there's too much fire there. The zodiac sign, the nakshatra pada and uh, the nakshatra itself is fiery. So there are three fiery elements, okay. And on top of that, if there is another fiery planet like Sun, Mars, Ketu, it's like shooting off the roof. Okay, so therefore... Uh, try your best and don't get frustrated. I know so many people have been telling me that they are frustrated. You know, they are not seeing results. Jupiter is their seventh lord. They are not getting married. Things are getting delayed. They are feeling disappointed. They are feeling anxious. You know, they feel that they have done enough, but still there are no results. Okay. But you have to understand that this is all the karmic baggage that you had from your previous lifetimes, which you had to go through and grow through, not just go. Okay. You also had to grow through it. So when you see that you're finally growing or rather outgrowing all these uh, difficulties inside, then you realize that now the sun is going to shine because the moon, the planet, which is the most important of all, gets exalted in the sign of Taurus in the second pada, right? <clears throat> of Kritika Nakshatra. 
So therefore, do not worry. It's 10 more days of perseverance, tolerance, patience, and persistence. <laughs> and I'm sure you will make it through the last 10 days. All right. So this same thing can be applied for all other planets, not just Jupiter. But because Jupiter's transit is very long, and every Pada transit, like for this case, you know, first Pada, it is around 15 days, which is a very considerable time. You know, <clears throat> so you will see that uh, things can uh, get stuck and you might feel that, you know, you are burning, things are not happening. Okay, so therefore you need to understand that uh, you can elevate yourself, but with more patience. And the most important thing during first Pada Kritika is to understand that you have to stay true to yourself. Okay, there is no escape. There is no there's there are no shortcuts to success. Okay, so therefore stay true to yourself and uh, be honest. Be blunt, uh, blunt uh, not in an insensitive way, but you have to be blunt and you have to be true to yourself. The moment you do this, then you know yes, it is my time. My time has come and uh, I will do good. I will make it. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it's just another transit and it does no good. Okay. And at the end, of course, do not forget to check the dashas, you know, Mahadasha, Antar Dasha, Pratyantar. That will ultimately have the most important say in what happens in this in the next 10 days. Okay. So therefore, please understand that it is a test. It's like a test which God has put you and me and everybody else through. And I know times are very tough. We can see this Iran Israel war also brewing, you know, in India also there are elections and could get violent anytime, as you know, last time also in West Bengal there was some violence and in some other small parts also. But nonetheless, it will subside and the sun will shine. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new and for personalized consultations, please do not forget to visit my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him for sure. Thank you and Jai Shri Ram.